day everyone welcome to cactus cafe my name is anna in this channel i share with you my passion for growing cactus and other desert plants over a cup of coffee happy fall everyone <laughs> as i am filming this video it is the third week of october it is still sunny we still get sunny days in the morning here morning temperatures are still warm right now we are expected to be in the high 70s but night temperatures now drop to low 50s to high 40 degrees fahrenheit so that is the situation here right now i haven't made the move as you can see all my cacti are still outside in my backyard i am taking advantage of this sunny days although i know the move will be inevitable <laughs> it is coming very soon sooner than i want it to move moving my plants to my greenhouse or indoors or in my backyard is something that i am not looking forward to <laughs> that is one thing that i dread doing every year but i know it has to be done our winter here guys in uh, vegas drops to about high 20 degrees fahrenheit so we get freezing temperatures it does drop below freezing temperatures we get occasional snow hence um, I, I do need to move my cacti to warmer places during the winter but like i said i'm trying to delay it as much as i can <laughs> How are my cacti doing this fall? Well, most of them I've noticed they've started shrinking or shriveling up as you can see in here. I watered, when was the last time I watered? Oh, two days ago. I watered two days ago, but despite being watered, not all of them would plump back up. So that means they're starting to snooze or they're starting to go on winter dormancy. As you can see, most of them now look the pot looks too big for the cactus but that is because the cactus has reduced in size and um, they look smaller than they used to when it was summer which is good you want your cactus to shrivel up a little bit for winter because you don't want them to have too much water inside them when freezing temperatures begin because the water inside your cactus can freeze and that is detrimental to your cactus so a little bit of shriveling up of your cactus in preparation for winter is actually good for them in terms of watering i now water less frequently than before during summer i was watering them twice a week when fall started i started reducing the frequency to once a week and now that it is much cooler i water i think the last interval of my watering was 10 days 8 to 10 days so they can last longer now without um too much water and when i water i only maybe wet 50 percent of the soil i don't soak it anymore like i used to during summer because i noticed the soil doesn't dry up as fast as it used to except for the ones that are in small pots like these ones these are seedlings the seedlings or the cactus in small pots like this tiny cactus right here i still water them once a week because smaller pots they dry up faster but the ones in the bigger pots they only get watered for now between 10 days interval and i'm sure in the future that interval would be longer and longer until such time that i will stop completely watering or i might do selective watering during winter my aloes my aloes are waking up finally <laughs> in the summer they were looking so sad and shriveled up because of the heat but now they are starting to plump up and change color like this one this is an aloe fry firecracker it has started to change its edges to pink pretty soon in the winter this will all turn purple and pink very nice so they are also blooming right now these aloes are opportunistic growers for me <laughs> they will grow whenever the conditions are good or perfect for them this is an aloe christmas carol it used to be red and green in summer now it's starting to turn purple 
which is very beautiful i think and this one is also in flower so yeah aloe season is starting curly season is back <laughs> these are my albucas so look at all the leaves they've started to do their curls this is an albuca spiralis i'm not sure what the other two are because the leaves are slightly different i posted a picture of this albuca spiralis in my facebook and in instagram and a lot of you liked this plant and yes i do recommend you to have this guys if you can grow it in your environment it is such a fun plant to grow look at all those curls it looks so funky <laughs> during summer this is summer dormant so during the summer you will see no leaves at all it grows from a bulb so during summer you will just have an a pot with the soil <laughs> you think they're dead but when the cooler temperature starts uh this leaves would start growing and as they grow if you give them more sunlight the leaves would start to curl in spring this will form a lovely yellow flower that has a slight fragrance to it so as you can see the curls are also forming in this one this is a slightly different albuca because the leaves you may not be able to see it in the camera but the leaves on the edges it has little teeth and not like this one this is completely smooth and the leaves are wider too on them this is another rack that i have right here these are the ones that don't like too much sunlight i noticed that now they're growing very well with the season especially the huernas the uh stapelia so this is their growing season at least for me look at this one this is a hornia hybrid this was given to me by brian from puerto rico this flower it it looks black but um if you put it under the sun it's actually dark burgundy very dark burgundy but this flower has been open for two weeks now can you believe it two weeks during summer it would only last two days for me but with cooler temperature that flower is now two weeks open very nice so all of them are growing well so this is the season that they grow for me they don't like our summer they don't like our winter either so i would have to protect these during winter time and then my seedlings are also out here i took them most of them i took them out when fall started this used to be growing under my grow lights but a lot of them i took out but i know in winter time these are the first ones that i would have to take back inside by the way if you are interested to know the different tasks that i do during fall in preparation for winter i made a video last year about that i will put a link up on top of your screen or below this video if you are interested to know the different activities that i do to prepare for winter so right now i am doing a mental note of those that i think can stay here outside for the winter and those that i think would have definitely have to go in my greenhouse where i have a heater in there so definitely echinopsis except for this this is a gymnocolisium but echinopsis definitely they can withstand our winter so those are staying outdoors mellow cactus no these are more tropical so these are going inside my greenhouse probably some mammillarias that are big enough may be able to withstand winter outside here this is very hardy so definitely this is staying outside but especially those that are still small i will protect those so i will put them inside my greenhouse even though i know some of them are hardy but since they've these are recently repotted so i will give them extra protection this winter astrophytum as well definitely are going inside my greenhouse all my apuntias definitely are staying outside they are very hardy 
and of course the the cacti that are in big pots like this one they would have to stay out here i will wrap it in a frost protection blanket whenever freezing temperatures come oh by the way this is a newly potted cactus the pot is new the cactus is not <laughs> the star nursery here recently did a 50 percent off on all pottery and this is one of those pots that i got it's beautiful it's bluish green so i think this cactus i forgot the name of this one blue candle anyway i'll show the name of this cactus on the screen but i think this cactus is perfect for that pot I'm so proud of that one. I think that is one of my best staging, <laughs> if you might say it, of a cactus. Aside from aloes, this is also Haworthia season. <laughs> so this is a part of my Haworthia collection. I've significantly reduced the amount of Haworthias that I have. Um, early in fall, what I did was I unpotted most of them and divided it and gave away some to friends. And I kept only maybe a third of what i used to have so this is what i have right now they are starting to perk up very nice and very beautiful so in winter that is the time that they look their best that is it for my fall update this might be the last time that you will see all my collection outside pretty soon i would have to make the move most of them will move in the greenhouse or in my backyard for overwintering. Oh, by the way, somebody was asking, do I have a monkey's tail? Yes, I do. Whenever I make videos, I keep forgetting to pan my camera up <laughs> so you don't see my hanging cacti. Here, I have a monkey's tail right here, although it hasn't flowered for me. And I also have a rat's tail all right everyone so that is it for my fall update i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up let me know what is going on wherever you are in this world have you made the move or not how is the weather in your area let me know in the comments down below okay everyone until next time have a great day and cheers